And speaking of springtime, flowers, weddings, that's a special day. And we know that brides to be are looking for inspiration and organization. Well, this morning we have some tips for all you planning out there. I do's. Here's wedding planner Kelly from Kelly Carly Weddings and Events. I'm so sorry, Kelly. Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. Good to see you Excuse as well. Oh my gosh. Well, weddings, they're so special. And look, since the pandemic, have brides kind of changed their tastes a little bit? How has it changed things? Well, I'd like to say that, you know, the wedding boom has kind of subsided. And I think that there are more intimate weddings and more of a curated guest list that's happening. Um, I think that they realize, you know, having this big, massive wedding just isn't a necessity. Um, well, I love doing larger events. We also love to do smaller ones. Um, and I think that the smaller ones right now are going to be the norm for some time. Um, and, you know, with the reduced guest count, you can do a lot more things, you know, by creating once in a lifetime experiences. So, yeah, I, I, I actually agree with a lot of the stuff you said. Now, you do mostly yeah. Colorado mountain weddings. How beautiful. What is easier to plan, indoor or mm -hmm. outdoor weddings? Well, planning a wedding takes a lot. I would say that when you do an indoor wedding, <coughs> you have a lot more control, if that makes sense. Um, you know, when you do something that's inside, you can have more climate control, you know, being in the mountains, you know, um, you don't have to worry about a lot of things blowing over. If you have this beautiful display on a bar and next thing you know, you're 8,000 feet up in Vail and a wind storm could kind of come through at any point. Um, you can also kind of, you know, display your wedding cake uh, without it melting. Sometimes that yeah. can happen. Um, and you have, you know, your amenities like restrooms, kitchen facilities, electrical outlets, all of those kinds of things. Um, but if you do something that's outdoors, you know, obviously you can't compete with Mother Nature. It's absolutely beautiful. And that's why a lot of people come out here to Colorado because they do want to get married outside um, because of the unbeatable backdrop that you all know about. Um, you know, yeah, it's amazing. It's, it's amazing. Especially in Colorado. I mean, you want mm -hmm. that outdoor wedding, but you're I mean, yeah. stuff can go wrong when you go with outdoors. Well, let's talk tips for brides. What are the best places to spend money and the least important? This this is a good question. Well, best places for sure is your planner, um, you know, especially because this area is such a destination market. It's really important that you have someone who knows the area and knows the mountains. Um, your venue is obviously another important one. And I would say food, beverage, entertainment, and photography. That would be your best places to start and spend your money wisely. Um, the least important is probably the party favors, you know, the things that you put on yes. tables or okay. things of that nature. Um, a lot of brides these days are going away from bouquet toss and garter toss. You mm -hmm. know, they're Kind of not wanting to do a lot of those traditional things and some people are kind of gearing a little bit more out of save the dates they want to do something unique online or you know be more green friendly so it makes sense for them to want to do something that's more online yes and, and i agree with you a lot of those traditional things kind of yeah. taken a back seat which is okay we got to move with it's the okay. times <laughs> so we do yeah yeah what can a wedding planner do that really makes all the difference here well, there's a lot that we can do. You know, we would be on an hour segment, you know, to let you know, but we can develop incredible design elements, things that you would never even think of because of mm -hmm. the relationships that we have. Um, another big one is we help manage your wedding finances um, because you really don't know where to start when you're planning a wedding. So you really need someone to understand kind of what the overall picture is going to look like and what it's going to, you know, cost you and your family. Um, you have a professional that's really running any kind of interference that happens. Um, and then we also have incredible relationships with vendors, not just in Colorado, but kind of out of state. Yeah. And we're always prepared, always prepared. Always. Well, Kelly, thank you so much for being with us thank today. You. Yes. Happy wedding thank season. You. And if you thank want, you so much. of course, if you want more info about wedding and of course, planning and what to connect with Kelly Carly is there for you. You can visit her website. It's Kelly Carly Weddings and events.com.